Hey, Steve Zook, welcome back to Pokesu Channel or eBay, wherever you've seen this. Yeah, this is a really, this is one of the nicest Joe Passes, Joe Passes, Epiphone Joe Passes I've ever had. It's not easy. I've never seen one with this kind of a quilted back. Um, it's just gorgeous. And I, I've even talked to wood brokers about this, I believe, and they agree with me that the more mature wood helps it sound better. And this has got some just really very rare quilted back. I've never seen an Epi Joe Pass with a quilted back. It's even got some striped kind of stripes that kind of remind me of mahogany, but it's, this is a maple back. So this is a very rare guitar and it sounds good. The top has even got some nice little silking patterns that go across here that remind me of an old Super 400 or L5 I used to have. This is really a nice guitar and, and the it is made in the 90s, probably around 94, 95. So that age adds to the tone and, and even, even the kind of age look of the hardware to me looks really cool. Tons of fret left. This is really a nice guitar. Um, you know, I probably should be selling it for six fifty or something because it has a case. But five ninety nine is a great price. Um, and if you know, if you don't want the case, I'll take fifty, sixty bucks off. But I'd suggest you get this is a nice guitar. Listen, this is with a solid state amp too. And these are tens. It's all I had around. Whoops. I haven't played much today. Now, I always put the back pickup down low on a jazz box because it brings out the tone from the front. So I have this back pickup pretty low right now. So it's not going to, you know, it's going to sound weak, but it, you can always put it up by turning a couple screws. But that's why it sounds so nice. Uh, it really helps bring out the tone. Uh, but you can hear this, the beautiful guitar. Listen to it even even unplugged. Let me let me get this a little bit closer. You can even hear this guitar unplugged, and these are with tens on it. Has a really nice sound. Can you hear that? That's unplugged. So yeah, if a guitar has that, it has that kind of reverb, even unplugged. And then when you come up a little bit, really a nice sounding guitar, man. These strings are probably stretching out a little bit. But yeah, it really sounds nice. So I'm, I'll do a couple more videos so you can hear it, but yeah, it really has a nice sound. And like I said in my ad, and I think I'm probably one of the first to say it, the cheapest guitars on eBay are not always the best value. I've actually made money in the past buying nicer stuff and paying more money and making a little less when I sell it, but my customers are really happy. My 100% feedback, you know, speaks for itself, but you know, I, I'm the kind of person, I don't just, you know, and this has got a few dings in the top. It's got one ding that's a little bit larger here, but you buy this guitar, it, it's absolutely really gorgeous. It's even got some, some nice flame on the sides, but you know, um, I, I'd rather pay, you know, a little bit more and get some a guitar with some really, it's, it's got a, a ding here too. I, I'd rather pay a little bit more and, and get a guitar that's a really great value and make a little bit less when I sell it, or even sometimes make nothing when I sell it, just because I like playing this stuff and having it around. I, I make an income from my studio. I get royalties from my Speed Pick and Zookies, which is marketed by Dunlap. Uh, I also do teaching and I sell my guitar ladder system. So, you know, once in a while, to be honest, I get lucky and make you know, make a little bit of money on a guitar, but I, I'm not really that worried about it, but this is really a nice Joe Pass. And like I said in my ad, I wouldn't nickel and dime yourself worried about a little money either way. This, you know, if you like this guitar and you like the sound, buy it. It really, it's a really a lot of value. And I think you have some collectability. Uh, I, I mentioned in my ad, I actually bought an L5 from a Mondell Lowe because I, I, was, uh, I knew a guy named Chuck who was a friend of his down in the San Diego area, and I guess Mundell was in an accident and needed to sell his Gibson L5, so I bought a Wesley Montgomery from Mundell, and he was telling me how much he loves a really great Joe Pass. 
Uh, Ted Green, I took from him for a while. He had a couple of really nice Joe Passes. But the really great ones are few and far between. A lot of them don't sound as good as the other ones. This is true. Even Chet Atkins said the same thing. This guitar really has, and, and folks, I barely, I have an amp, it's a $150 amp, I barely, I barely have it turned on, and I've got the mic facing the wrong way. You can hear that. No, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really demoing the back pickup, because I have it really low. And like I said, also, I, I'm using a, uh, all I had was 10s around. Do some contrary motion. If you hear this guitar, it just sound. I'm really cold right now, but I want to get this on. I think I'd put a. Uh, hear how musical that sounds. I played a lot of Joe Passes. They sound okay, but they sound kind of compressed and kind of tubby. Even Chet Atkins said every guitar is a little bit different, and it's really not easy. It's actually quite difficult to find the guitars that really have the mojo. It's not bullshit. This guitar has it, man. You can just hear it. It's very rich. Uh, it's got that musical quality. Uh, and like I said, I've got tens on this guitar. So, uh, yeah, if you could use a nice jazz box... Hear how it has that kind of bell-like tone, as well as having the... Really a sweet vibe. I'll miss this guitar, but anyway, if you could use a great Joe Pass, Epiphone and the ones in the 90s, which is just like if you could, like I recently bought a Fender Precision Bass from the 90s. It was unreal. I sold it, but any guitar that you can buy that has some age to it, it's going to sound a heck of a lot better than a newer one. So, the, you know, there, these older ones made in Korea in the 90s are really sweet. And like I said, the top on this one has some really nice kind of soaking patterns that remind me of an old Super 400 or L5. And I personally, I think this is the prettiest color. I've had blonde. Joe passes and everything, and they're nice, but this cherry burst color is just gorgeous. It, this cherry burst just looks sweet. And like I said, this is one of the rarest backs I've ever seen on a Joe Pass. It's not just bling, but man, it looks awful nice putting it on your wall. But this is a hard, this is a guitar that's hard to get out of your head. Once you kind of fall in love with it, you just got to buy it. But uh, yeah, it could probably use some cleaning. It's got a little funk. It probably needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But yeah, this is really a nice guitar. It's got these, these very interesting stripes, which is very, very rare for, for, for a quilted maple. This is a very rare back. And it looks so beautiful when you can see the, the figure in the wood and, and the cherry burst. They're a little darker on the edges. And this is really a lot of guitars. So, uh, yeah, I hope somebody enjoys this. It goes to a good home. I almost kept this one, but I've got over 50 guitars. So, you know, I probably should just let it go. You hear that? Let's do cycle one for my guitar ladder system, and then I'll call this quits. And if anybody buys, uh, I should say, whoever buys this guitar, because um, it's going to probably sell pretty quick, I'll include a couple guitar ladder studies for you. So then you go back through with the shading. So you add that, that major 13 flat 5. When you find something that works, exhaust it. Yeah, somebody's gonna probably buy this pretty soon because I've got it. I'm getting 38,000 views a month on my YouTube uh, Pogsu channel, and then I have the exposure here. Uh, so yeah, it's a beautiful sounding guitar. Excuse my simple demo, but uh, this is how musical that sounds. That's amazing. And that's just with a cheap solid state old PV amp I paid a buck and a half for. So anyway, if you love this guitar, <clears throat> it's got tons and tons of fret left. It really hasn't been played that much. Um, like I said, it's a really gorgeous guitar. And that back is stunning. It's just, you know, it adds to the sound. You know, and like I said, it's got some nice looking patterns on the front. 
Just a gorgeous guitar. All right, folks, take care. If you love this guitar, buy it while it's around. You won't see one like this for quite a while. Take care. Bye-bye.